Awesome. I'll get my hashtag out there soon. Melody, oh my gosh, it's been a year since we were at our mini boot camp together, and look at you now, Presidential Diamond. Woo! So I, excited! Well, I am so proud of you. You know, you lead from the front, you're completing your steps to success almost every month, and sometimes more than once a month. You're also just constantly putting in new customers, team members, getting to one team, one missions, mini boot camps. Your team is following what you're doing. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Oh, Cammie, you know, I just couldn't imagine doing this with anybody else. Well, okay, so I got to talk to you about something real quick, though. Okay. I know you're putting that new pool in and you just bought that big house. Oh, yeah. Do <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> I think there some of your teams here that's had some parties at your house. Um, <laughs> So I just want to I just want to have a heart to heart with you because what I would hate for you to do is lose momentum. Yes. You know, Mike Patillo always says, don't stop momentum, just steer it. And you're heading for ambassador and then Black Diamond. And the worst thing you could do right now is is lose sight of where you're going. Keep leading from the front. Keep getting to events. Keep following the steps of success. Don't turn into a management mode. The best thing you can do for your team is continue to lead by example. Awesome. Well, I truly love what we get to do in this business, and I couldn't be more thankful. But you know what, Cammie? I am hungry, and I am more determined than ever. No distractions. I'm going ambassador. Yeah, you are. Yes. And then you're going to go Black Diamond. I know it. Oh, yeah. You are moving. Oh, yeah, no doubt. And I cannot imagine anybody better to teach you not only how to go ambassador, but keep moving right on to that goal of Black Diamond than our very own Black Diamonds. So help me bring to the stage, and I want you to get on your feet yes. for Black Diamonds, Denise yes. and Brandon Walsh, <laughs> Joel and Stephanie Dunn, and our very own Chief of Sales, Mike Patillo. look great don't they look great <laughs> you can tell it's Saturday my voice is starting to go well we wanted to do something kind of extra special I think I get what Ashley was talking about about spinning you just you kind of want to spin here but uh, I may have to ask you Joel like push me back around anyway there we go we good all right black diamonds you know today has been an extraordinary day. Have you guys found some useful information from Blitz all the way to Ambassador? Well, here's what we found talking to the Black Diamonds is that when you get down to this level right here and you're on the Triple Diamond Presidential and you're going for Ambassador, a lot of times you get caught up thinking, what do I do now? And it even happens for Diamonds going to Double and Double's going to Triple. All of a sudden, you forget what made you successful was just doing it and doing it again and doing it again and doing it again. And that's what we want to cover today. And each of you, you know, I'm going to ask you to step out. You know, we're not staying seated on this. I know they got us chairs, but I think each of you should step out, step up, because when you step up, your money goes up. Right, everybody? All right. So, Brandon, I'm going to start with you, then we'll go to Denise, and we'll go to Stephanie, and then to Joel, and then we will close this baby out. So Brandon, share a little bit about how people can take their business from where they're at and get to where you're at. Well, we have never recruited a single person from Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter or YouTube, not in 10 years. As Black Diamonds, not a single one. And I can tell you it's definitely not for a lack of trying. Between the two of us, we spent hundreds of hours just trying to figure things out. But I can tell you that what was really happening is we were jealous. We saw people like Jocelyn Yates recruit 47 people a day on Instagram, and Jade Hooper with her hilarious videos with a thousand comments, and Vanessa Brown, who's always just looking cool and glamorous. And we started chasing them, and they became like rabbits to us. And everybody knows that when you chase a lot of rabbits, you can't catch any of them. And that's what happened for us. Um, 
The worst part about all that is we stopped doing what we were good at. The stuff that had got us to Black Diamond in the first place, we stopped doing. And God gave us all different gifts and talents and passions. And for us, our bread and butter has always been me doing ads, recruiting leads on Facebook and Google and getting them to Denise so that she can build a relationship with those people and start training them on how to do the steps to success. And if we want to make more money, if we want to hit a promotion, we do more leads, we do more calls, we do more trainings, and we do that day after day after day because that's the stuff that gets us results. Fortunately for us, uh, I figured out pretty quick that God did not intend for me to be a sexy Instagram star. <laughs> and, and that's a great thing because our team suffered during that time. Our team looks to us as leaders for confidence to show them how to build this business the right way. And when we're out chasing rabbits, they're going to say, oh, look at Brandon. He's on Instagram and Denise is on Snapchat. Let's do that. That must be the best way to build. So if you're out chasing rabbits, that means that your team is going to do the same thing. I heard this recently, and it was, we need to be postage stamps. We need to stick with something until we hit our destination. And I know that for us, our destination won't be until we're a $10 billion company in 100 countries, and our leaders are black diamonds. And for us, we're just not even close. If you're, if you're a diamond or above, I want you to really think about your business right now. Where did your personally enrolled rock stars come from? Where did all your customers come from? Are you still spending 90% of your time doing that? If you're not, you're wasting your time. Are you still doing 10 calls a day, five parties a week? Are you still posting hourly on Instagram? Before I go, I'll leave you with this. It's a quote I heard, it's from Bruce Lee. And he said, I fear not the man who's practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who's practiced one kick 10,000 times. Thank you, guys. Let's give it up. Brandon Walsh, Black Diamond. All right. Hey, guys, did you notice we put your names right in front of you? Isn't that cool? You see that? Did you notice that? Okay. All right, let's give it up. Black Diamond, Denise Walsh. Hi, guys. I want to talk to you today about momentum. Does anybody want to experience momentum in their business this year? Yeah, me too. So momentum is created by taking massive action in one direction for a long period of time. But what I have found is that most people don't even know what direction to take because they don't know what they want. Or they're so stuck, they don't even know where to start. Any time that I felt stuck in my business or my check has plateaued or even dropped, I can link it back to this one thing. Lack of personal vision. Personal vision is when you have such a clear picture in your, of your future that it produces this passion. It lights a fire inside where you know this is where I'm supposed to go and this is what I was made to do. If you have ever felt stuck in your business, this is what you are missing. So I want to do a little demonstration. Because you know we can't just talk. We've got to do something. So I want you guys to relax your shoulders. Put your feet on the ground, even at home. All right. I'd like you to close your eyes. Imagine you are standing in the middle of a small rooftop on the tallest building, like the Empire State Building. Now, look down at your feet in your mind's eye and notice what you're standing on. Then imagine looking up and seeing what time of day it is. As you look up, you notice what the weather is like. Are there any sounds up there? 
you hear traffic noises, helicopters, whatever it might be, notice what you hear. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to walk to the edge of the terrace. I want you to realize that there's no railing at the, at the edge of this. So very slowly and carefully, walk over to the edge of this roof. When you get to the edge, put your toes right up against the edge and look down. As you're looking down, way down, you can see little tiny dots of people and cars. Notice what you feel in your body. Now, allow yourself to walk or crawl back to the edge of the, or the middle of the roof. And when you get back to the middle, open your eyes and come back into this room. By show of hands, how many of you felt something during that exercise? Isn't that interesting? So where was your body? Here, right? But what was your body responding to? Your thoughts, and a little bit deeper, your visualizations. And who created that image? You did. So who created the experience you just had in your body? You did. Isn't that interesting? You're physically here, yet your body and your thoughts and feelings evoke an emotion in your body. Let's think about this in terms of your life. Where do you want to be at this time next year? Let's think about conference 2018. Leaders, pick your section. How many team members do you want to have here next year? Who wants to be in the top 100? <laughs> top 10? How many of you, how, where do you, <laughs> like they're still like, yeah, me. Um, how many of you want to, pay, you know, pay off debt, move into your dream home? <laughs> See, these are the types of questions I asked myself the year that we went Black Diamond. I said, what do I want? Why do I want it? And am I willing to go, to do the work in order to get there? I created a long bucket list of things I wanted to see, do, and have, and I put dates next to when I wanted to accomplish them. We even got our team involved. We created a leadership event set in the year 2025, and everyone came dressed as the person they wanted to be in 10 years. Some people came with their dream homes on their phone, and they talked to them about how they just moved in. Some people talked about the mission trips they went to Africa. Uh, some were beach bums because they were retired. Some people wrote books that turned into movies. I came with a business card that said, it works, first triple black diamond, <laughs> international speaker, trainer, and New York Times best-selling author, as seen on Oprah's Favorite Things and American Ninja Warrior, <laughs> world-renowned basketball mom, loving, uh, loving wife, and devoted philanthropist. And then we even had this TED Talk badge made. And I talked about how I came back from my first event and my talk went viral. It was awesome. <laughs> this is who I began to see myself as. I was calling things out that are not as if they are. <laughs> Do you have a clear vision of where you are going? or of who you are supposed to be. Today, I have visions of us flying to Asia. And we are flying and we meet our new ambassador team who happened to be fully coded to us. Woo! And we meet them and we say, nice to meet you. You know, I have clear visions of where I want to go. I have such, I, I paint a picture in my mind of what I want to do that I am so stinking excited to take massive action in that direction because I know where I am going. I am excited to do power hours. I'm excited to follow up with leads. I'm excited to book parties. I'm excited to chart like in, you're blue in the face, right? Because I know where I am going. So what I want you to do is picture yourself up here on stage getting your ambassador award. 
Better yet, I want you to picture your team up on stage getting their ambassador awards. And you know what you're doing? You're down there bawling your eyes out, taking pictures because you know how hard they worked and you know what this means for their family. Yeah. Now, I want you to picture yourself doing all the work that it's gonna take to, to get there. Booking five parties a week, going to one team, one missions, charting, um, doing team training, Zooms back to back, you know, and you are loving every minute of it. Visualization accelerates achievement. Did you know that your subconscious cannot differentiate between a real and an imagined event? So when you are flooding your mind with things that you want, it like has to happen. Your brain has to figure out a way to make it work. It's like a law. It's the way God made us. And did you know that when we say you become what you think about, you physically become what you think about? That when you're thinking negative or worry thoughts, your brain neurons start to wilt and die. And then when you're thinking positive, life-affirming thoughts, these neurons are alive and active. This is the way we are wired. So it is my hope that you take this knowledge and you move it from your head into your heart and that you use it as fuel to light that fire in your belly, to propel you to take massive action, to create momentum for your life and for your business. Because knowledge is power. And now you know. You become what you think about. Think about who you want to become. Let's give it up, Denise Walsh. You know, yesterday we talked a lot about you are that common denominator, and I think, you know, you summed that up as well, because you are the one common denominator in every choice that you make. And, you know, I remember when I met Stephanie for the first time, you know, she had that it factor. We met at, I think, the Stony Brook Golf Club. So she's double diamond at the time, now black diamond. Stephanie Dunn, stage is yours. Black diamond, Stephanie Dunn. All right, you guys, so this is totally uncomfortable for me. So I think Mark did this to me on purpose because I'm going to a whole nother level, right? Um, what I know that I'm really good at is work. And I want you to think about something. Um, hard work, uh, what that looks like. So um, hard work can be nine to five job and being that's hard being away from your kids. Um, and with It Works, this is our hard work, you guys. Why would we ever stop working? Um, over the last two days, you've heard everything that you need to build your business, you know, to get to Black Diamond and beyond. But here's the main ingredient of success. People want to talk about working smart. They want to talk about blitzing. They want to talk about doing the steps to success. But you cannot avoid putting in the actual work. You see, Joel and I never are never not working. We have not arrived yet. You actually have not arrived yet until you're dead and you're in heaven. So why have you stopped working hard? Cindy, I have heard this over and over this weekend. You are made for such a time as this. You guys, you are made for such a time as this. God has great plans for you to be the hands and the feet to share this life-changing opportunity and product with someone every single day. If you're not getting the results you want, then you're not sharing this with enough people. Some will, some won't, so what next? But most of you stop at your some what or some won't and never get to your some will. See the bottom line, my It Works family? <sighs> it's the work. It's the hustle. It's the difference. It's the game changer that will make you legendary. You know, I had to make these notes because this is not me, but now I'm going freestyle. <laughs> you know, I had to get a few of those things in there because it was so important for me, and, and I'm not a like a note person, but you guys, all you have to do is work. 
Stop overcomplicating it. Stop thinking and just do, right? Commit, don't quit, just do, and do more of it. You're going to be black diamond. You're going to be double black diamond. You're going to be triple black diamond. I will never stop doing what I do because I know there's somebody out there that was just like me, standing in food lines, looking for an opportunity, and I'm going to find them. I love you guys, and that's it. <laughs> Let's give it up, Black Diamond, Stephanie Dunn. Thank you for picking that up, Stephanie. I did not want Joel there. to fall. Well, you know what? It, it really is true. I mean, what I hear over and over and over three times now is you got to put in the work. You've got to put in the work. You've got to put in the work. And I know this guy puts in the work, so let's give it up for the bearded Black Diamond, Joel Dunn. Mike, there was a pulpit that was supposed to come up out of the ground. Oh, Randy got a pulpit. Why can't I get one? Okay, team. So, are you guys living up to the person God called you to be? Are you living up to God's view of your potential? Do you want to know why I keep grinding every single day, even though I'm Black Diamond? And I'm going to read this because this is really good stuff. Because a spirit of complacency will rob you of God's greater purpose for your life. See, he put you in this company not only so that you could change your legacy, but so that you could be the legacy changer for somebody else's family and you could become a world changer. See, the way that I look at this business every single day is if you can build it, shouldn't you? Thanks, Legos. I was waiting for it. So Cindy had some really, really awesome things to say this weekend because we're all just kind of repeating it. So if you're repeating something, it's obviously from God, so you guys should pretty much listen really well. Yesterday she talked about Jesus' parable of the talents, and I'm going to revisit it for you guys. Before long, you know, there was this journey of a master that had three servants that he gave talents to. One he gave five, one he gave two, one he gave one to. We kind of know how the story went. When he came back, he wanted to see how they did with it. The first one was super awesome, went out, blitzed a bunch of people, got 10 more talents. The second one, he was okay, still went diamond. He doubled his to four. The master looked at those two guys and was like, well done, you good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you the master over many things. Unfortunately, there was that one third guy. See, he was afraid and he buried that talent. But guess what? He still returned that talent. He still had it. He didn't lose it. But it was totally unused. But the master looked at him and said, you wicked and slothful. That's a good word. Slothful servant. And he took his talent and gave it to the person that had the ten. The number one thing that fuels me every single day is knowing that I want to get to heaven and hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. I keep going and running every single day because I know that the little that I've been entrusted with can be given to someone else that could be doing something with it. I want to be the one that's receiving the extra from that complacent, slothful person because Stephanie and I are willing to never not be working. The truth is, if we're all honest, really, many of us aren't living up to our highest potential. Would you say that you're living up to God's view of you and your potential? I know I'm not. See, the pain of falling short is nothing compared to the pain and regret of stopping short. I would rather go all in with it works work as hard as I possibly can, get all the way to the end and realize that I worked my hardest and know that I did a good job than to get to the very end and have never had taken that chance and lived with a world of regret. See, there's no shame in falling short. 
Stopping short, well, that's going to leave you with regret that's going to stick with you forever. It is okay to be bad. It's not okay to be slow. See, the first time you do something, that is going to be the worst that you should ever be at it ever again. But the more that you do it, the more that you go out and fail, the faster that you do that, the better that you become, the closer that you get to your goal, and the closer you get to your success. And the best part is that is when you are living up to your greatest potential. So like I said yesterday, the way that you get to Black Diamond is not by focusing on yourself, but on focusing on other people. The way that you stay Black Diamond is understanding that God is using you and working through you to reach other people and to change their lives. But not only that, you must have a vision. Mark is great with vision. He has a vision that none of us can actually see. It's much greater than what we can all see. And that's us reaching millions of people whose lives we are intended to impact. Once you grab hold of that, you will never quit working because this business goes beyond a paycheck. This business goes into transforming families and offering hope to people standing in food lines, single mothers whose energy is getting shut off, and family members who are serving overseas that are trying to figure out how to make their next paycheck. The huge reason why we keep working and completing the steps to success every month is because we know that there are three to five of those people out there each and every month that God intended for us to help be the catalyst of change. And if you don't reach them, they may never reach the purpose that God had for them. See, Mother Teresa said it best. A life not lived for other people is no life at all. I know God brought you guys here today for this weekend for such a time as this. He has purpose for your potential. My question for you is, are you committed to never not work your potential to the highest level and fulfill God's purpose of changing thousands of lives through your It Works business? The time is now. The decision is yours. Commit to being legendary. Thank you, guys. Let's give it up. One more time.